Hello YouTube. Um, so haven't posted a talkie video in about four months now and so I think uh, I decided just a moment ago that I'm gonna make one. Um, yeah, I've got... Uh, yeah, I think I just wanna... at this point I don't even know how much um, I think about myself in terms of an INFP. I think I, st I mean I still do. Um, but uh, I also, uh, and I like talking about these kinds of things, it's an easy way of finding people who are um, interested in the same kind of uh, self-development topics. Uh, so that's why I like these labels, like Myers-Briggs and Anagram. Um, but I've also been lately thinking uh, that I kind of want to keep on making these videos because um, if something were to happen to me, like if I were to <laughs> die prematurely or um, even, you know, I guess the internet's going to be here probably now on so even after I die I think it would be cool to like uh, for my family members or people that knew me and loved me like they would have videos to go back and watch if they wanted to and uh, I, I don't know maybe that's I find that kind of interesting like it maybe this is I don't know it's just kind of like a uh, it's kind of a weird like I want people to uh, after I'm gone to like watch these and be like Oh, she had some interesting thoughts. You know, it's kind of uh, not narcissistic, but I don't know. I just want to have maybe all this more sides to my personality like out there and available to people who may be interested in me. Um, because, you know, these kinds of things are, they're not things that I talk about in everyday situations, you know, it can be hard to bring up these kind of topics. Like, if you're with the right people, sure, it can happen. Um, anyway, I like, I like having this, like, stream of, um, myself and checking in with myself. It's like, you know, a modern diary, basically, journal. Um, okay, so, um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself today. Um, over the last couple months, I, uh, um, I guess I kind of, uh, developed a crush on a guy, and, uh, he seemed to like me too and all that, and in that typical INFP type 4 way, I, uh, fell too quickly and too hard for him. It went from, like, nothing to, like, whoa, intense crush within, you know, no time at all. Um... And, of course, you don't have to be an INFP or a Type 4 to understand what getting a crush is like. But um, I do find, like, for me, it's when that happens, it's pretty intense. Like, I get pretty obsessive um, just with my thinking and my fantasizing about the other person. And um, um, I'm at least, at this point, I'm 28. Um, you know, I've, I've had my share of crushes. So, like, not a huge, not a whole lot. But, uh, you know, I could count them on a hand. And... Um, and I've read enough about, you know, my personality types that I know that this is a bit of a trap. And, um, yeah, so I'm feeling proud about myself, or feeling proud of myself. Because I managed to kind of weasel my way out of that very addictive way of thinking. That very, um, yeah, obsessive and so addictive, you know, uh, mode of operating or viewing the other person, um, and I just kind of rationally pulled myself back. Um, uh, well, I guess I don't know how personal I have to get with I guess I have to give some details, but um, just uh, it just got to the point where I had to ask uh, like what the other person's attention, inten in intentions were, um, because I knew that I like couldn't stand being in that like limbo, you know, like that when you have a crush and you know, like, every time your phone goes off, you just, you're hoping it's a text from them, or, you know, like, not hearing them for, like, a few days feels like an eternity, you know, all that stuff. Um, I just, I couldn't deal with it, it was, like, really just stressing me out, because although it feels really great when you do get that little dose of attention, um, you know, it goes straight to your head, and you're all high and happy, uh, those in-betweens, like, I don't know, that stuff is rough, that's rough, I don't know if I can do that anymore. Um... It's just, it's really hard on my self-esteem. Um, I've been really trying to work on my self-esteem the last few months and uh, last six months, I guess, now. And um, I found, like, everything just started crumbling once I developed this crush because, you know, everything is so determined on how that person views you or how you think they might view you. And I just started, like, attacking myself physically and and uh, intellectually. And uh, that's not healthy, right? Um, so... 
you know, if you're in, I think if you have a situation where you have all those wonderful high feelings, but you also have the certainty that it's um, quieted, it's returned, um, then I think it's great. Go with, go with it. Even if, you know, it's like an illusional, uh, dreamy kind of uh, unreal situation, I think enjoy the dream. That's my opinion on it. But if there's any uncertainty, you just gotta, you gotta just like talk yourself down. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I'm feeling proud that I, I managed to do so. Um, yeah, I'm at the point now where I still, um, I still have, I'm still crushing on this person, but it's like a more like reasonable, realistic kind of thing. Like if I see them and they flirt with me, yes, I'm very flattered, but I don't have any expectations. And I realize like, um, not everybody views these things so seriously as I do. <laughs> and I'm trying to like, INFPs, type type fours, you know, we're not casual like lovers really. I mean, maybe some are, but the stereotype for the type, which so far in my life I have I fit, it's either like I'm not at all interested or I'm like so interested, so very interested, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's like really the best way to operate in life. I'm kind of experimenting with that now. Like, it requires me to be the help of alcohol but now I'm trying to be more casual and just like I'm trying to go on more dates and just kind of just try to get to know people and see where it goes and even if I'm not really that into them if they're cute like maybe I'll let something happen like I'm trying to experiment with this stuff now um because yeah I, I don't know I don't know if love should be taken so seriously at least not when I'm I mean I'm 28 I have a few I know good years while I'm still I don't know, thin and relatively attractive and, 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 you know, can still get away with this kind of like, uh, easy, fun kind of dating, uh, romantic situations. Um, so I kind of want to take advantage, uh, because I was in a long term, uh, relationship from like, like 20 to 28, 27. So I missed all that stuff in those like key years of when other people are usually doing that kind of stuff. A lot of other people are doing that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay for ten. So notes. Um, yeah. So I guess two other INFPs or type fours. You think they're pegged in that really like dramatic intense kind of uh, romantic way of operating um, you can ease up just think about it um, know your your faults your traps and uh, you know just try to distance yourself from these situations that are just gonna cause you pain because I mean you just know where it leads I'm sure everyone's experienced this right like I just like for me I knew it's springtime and I knew I didn't want to be like you know, sulking and suffering heartbreak for the beginning of the new fresh season. It's spring, you're supposed to go out and have fun, so, you know, you just got to be responsible and uh, sometimes use your head rather than your heart, I guess, right? Um, yeah, I guess that's all. Just putting that out there. And cool. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.